Hi everyone, today I'm going to read The Perfect Thanksgiving by Eileen Spinelli, illustrated by Joanne Adenolfi. Abigail Archer's family is perfect in every way. Never is this more obvious than on Thanksgiving Day. Their turkey is plump and golden. Their napkins are made of lace. Their table is lit with candles. They all hold hands for grace. Our smoke alarm is wailing. Our turkey burnt as toast. Dad spills the gravy down his shirt. A less than perfect host. Abigail Archer's father serves white meat all around. Everyone takes dainty bites and no one makes a sound. Excellent, perfect, lovely. My grandpa chews the gizzards, my brother chomps the wings, my sister slurps, my uncle burps, and Aunt Clarissa sings. Chew, chomp, burp, sing. Abigail Archer's mother wears organdy and pearls. She decorates their homemade pies with fancy whipped cream swirls. No quivering jello mold, fancy whipped cream swirls, homemade pie, pearls, organdy dress, fancy shoes. My mother is dressed in blue jeans, her pies are from the store, her jello mold a quivering, a quivers to the floor. No pearls, no swirls, quivering jello mold, blouse not made of organdy, store bought pie, blue jeans, and fuzzy slippers. After dinner at Abigail's, after the dishes are done, some of the grown-ups take a walk. Others play chess for fun. After dinner at our house, the dogs sneak off with scraps. Some of the grown-ups watch TV. Others take long naps. Abigail's older cousins read books in velvet chairs. The younger ones bring favorite toys and everybody shares. My cousins chase around the house. They grab each other's collars. They hop atop the furniture and everybody hollers. The overnight guests at Abigail's have rooms all to themselves, with chocolates on the pillows and shampoo on the shelves. Our guests bring their own sleeping bags and canvas ca camping cots. Some guests sleep in the kitchen beside the cooking pots. Abigail Archer's family will sleep straight through the night They'll have the pleasantest of dreams by starry window light. My family fumbles in the dark, eats leftovers galore, takes bubble baths at 2 a.m., and many of them snore. Where's the jello? Snore. Stop hogging the blankets. Who used all of the hot water? My family and the archers are different, this I know. We can't tell peas from green legumes or snails from escargot. But we're alike in one way, the nicest way by far, alike in just how loving our different families are. The End